Welcome to Retro Gaming Online, and this is our December Video Games Monthly unboxing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Video Games Monthly is a subscription service that sends retro video games to your door every month. You pick what systems you're interested in, you make a wish list, and then you make a list of games you already have, and, and they send you random stuff throughout the every month throughout the year. Uh, if you're interested, check the link in the description below. We've been going for almost probably two and a half years now. Yeah, it's been a while. And um, we enjoy it. I enjoy the, the mystery. You get a box full of goodies that you have no idea what's mm -hmm. in there, so it's kind of fun. And you get a prize. And sometimes, yeah, you they always give you a little trinket. Mm -hmm. um, for us, uh, we're Retro Gaming Online. Please check us out on Facebook, Retro Gaming Online. Or, I'm sorry, Facebook.com slash Retro Gaming Online. And uh, check out our podcast. Uh, you could search Retro Gaming Online on basically any podcast service available, and then it's on there. Um, so I guess with that being said, we could jump right in. You want to do yours? Sure, whatever. See, three months of one-ups. Let's see if I can... Uh... Mr. One-Up over here. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, at least I know what the date is. There you go. 2019 calendar. So there's our trinket. card to uh, take a picture and then you can win uh, three free games if you post it online. And this is just a card that uh, it reminds you to set your list, your uh, wish list and your library so that you don't get uh, so you don't get doubles. Yeah. Alright. Glover for uh, Nintendo 64. Glover. I've played I've that it. but I've I don't. Played it. I played it once. I think it was a game we rented when we were younger but I don't, I don't remember it. At all. The, the cover looks familiar. Yeah, I've never played it. Oh, is that Spot? Spot. Oh, nice. Spot for the NES. Video game. Spot the video game. Well, at least they clarify it's a video game. Yeah, cooler. Look at Coke. Come with the Coke. Was that a Coke? I thought I that thought was, was like 7-Up or something. I mean, it was 7-Up. Yeah. Isn't 7-Up Coke, though? Coca-Cola? I don't know. Same product, right? <clears throat> Yeah, Sierra Mist is Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. All right. Ooh, Sega game. Oh, sweet. RoboCop 3. Nice. Pretty cool. I'm going to have to start looking at Genesis games again, because there's so many good ones out there, and I, even as a kid, I rarely played any of them, so. Codename Viper. Viper. And yes. Sweet. Yeah, Sega had... Um, some great games. Uh, one of the games I remember playing a lot uh, growing up, a buddy of mine would play the, the hell out of it, was uh, Pirate's Gold. Yes. That game was awesome. Uh, that's the one where you you, t you have the ship and you go from town to town and you also, yeah. like, you can board other people's ships and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, they'll say, like, oh. You do, like, the fencing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was a fun game. Man. I played that. Because cool. you, you had to go to different areas if you were friendly with them and recruit the crew. Yeah. And if you like got a bigger ship you had to make sure you had enough crew to man the ship and then you know you would plunder ships steal the cannons the food i used to play that and on then the... you would die yeah <laughs> you, you would age out yeah and retire i played it on the i didn't play it on the nes or the genesis i played it on the computer oh really but he had it on the ibm Was computer it Sid, or whatever Sid, Sid Myers. Myers. Yeah. yeah same people that make like civilizations yeah yeah that was an awesome game all right let's check it out my box is Ooh. nes and snes games um, that's, you haven't gotten, you didn't get a uh, disc game. Usually, you yeah, at least get, get one. Game. It's alright. So I got the same card, card, and sweet magnet. Mark off the days when your boxes come. So an NES game. Anticipation. Did you anticipate that? Did not anticipate that one. We used to, uh, <laughs> when we would go to my aunt's house, we would rent that. Because it was always like a bunch of the cousins would go over there. Okay. And we could never agree on like a type of game. So we just would get like a board gotcha. game basically. And play it on the Nintendo. Sounds like Monopoly. I think it was more like um, like a Trivial Pursuit. It Is wasn't it? necessarily. It was like a. I think it was a. It was more of a like mini games. What's in the bottom corner? Party fun. Party For fun. All ages. Yeah. If, I, if they all fall off, they're going to crush my laptop. Dragon Spirit by Bandai. 
Oh, I'm Dragon that one. Spirit, the new legend. Oh, sweet. It's got a cool box art there. I wonder if it's like a. Um, it's kind of cheesy, but like it's still a Link cool. game, or uh, yeah, something else. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Hmm. We got a Super Nintendo game. Oh, nice! Oh, wow. The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. That is actually top two games in my of games of all time for me. It's this, and then so it's Final Fantasy three or six, whatever you want to call it. This, and then like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy two are like right in the runnings for there. I can't. I couldn't. Oh, I probably sweet. wouldn't be able to describe. That's a damn good game. It's in pretty good condition. It just has some sticker residue, but that'll come off. Nice. I have to play that. I played it on emulators recently, but I didn't play it uh, oh, yeah. off the disc. So That's cool. I'd be interested to see if there's any saved game data on there. No. Somebody might already have it. Yeah. Beat. And then the final game is uh, International Tennis Tour. Definitely not on the wish list, but, you know, I'll fill a slot on the... Yeah, uh, I don't really play tennis other than the, the Mario. I won't lie. Um, the Mario Tennis is the one I'm... Yeah. My cousin had Sega Channel. Okay. Right? And uh, we played for an entire month tennis. Like, it had this tennis game where you start, you make a tennis character. Right. And he starts terrible. And you, like, build up their skills really? and you go through tournaments and wow. you win money and all this kind of stuff. Hmm. And we played it and we were not into and it's tennis. For Sega? It was on Sega. Yep. I can't remember what tennis game it was, but it was. Was it like, um,. Oh, what was the, the dude's name from the 80s? Um, like Andre Agassi or yeah, something? Yeah, was it like his game? I don't remember. Because I think he had a game. It could have been, but it was just a... And there was nothing outlandish about it or special. It was just right. a straight-up tennis game, and wow. we played the crap out of it. And I remember one time he got mad. We, we went out in the backyard and played football, and I guess I tackled him, and he fell into the fence, and his foot got stuck under the fence, mm -hmm. right? So he got real mad. So he went inside and deleted all the save game data. Nice. And then obviously, <laughs> obviously, ten minutes later, we made up and had to start the whole career over again and do it and do it from scratch. So. Oh, that sucks. That was fun, but yeah, not too bad. I, I can't complain with a Legend of Zelda in there. I'll tell you that. Nah, that's pretty cool. And then a game that I played as a kid. The other two, I have no idea what they are, but I'm interested to see them. And yeah, spot looks check pretty cool too. I'd like to look look at that. But, like I said, if you like what you see, check down in the description. There should be a link. And um, feel, please subscribe and check out our podcast. We have three episodes now. One, you just get to meet me, Mark, and uh, or me, Steve, and Mark, who's not here right now. And then the other two, we do uh, long-form game reviews. We do uh, Jaws, and we do Lil' Samson. So, check it out. I mean, we think they're, we think they're pretty good, but... Yeah, hopefully yeah. more will come yeah, as more will... the year starts. Yeah, we're taking a <laughs> tiny break because life is just out of control right now. Yeah. So hopefully the first yeah. of the year we'll get back on things, get a little bit more content out there. But until then, thanks for watching.